Okay, so this is an ebook that I produced for my online coaching service about five, maybe six years ago. And I just want to run you through it. There is a link underneath this video in the program, so you can look at it yourself. But just to give you an understanding of my logic behind this free gift that I was given to people that came on my website. Um, so I called it Seven Days of Self-Care and Attention, and it was really important to give it a name that wasn't generic, something that stood out. Now, just to give you some background as well as to what I was doing online, I was catering my services to beginners and restarters to fitness. So those who were used to the yo-yo, dieting and stop-start fitness, that was my goal to help those people get through 12 weeks with the program that I created and um, then we could move them on to something something more once they'd done done three months of consistent work so that's what this um ebook was geared towards so beginners and restarters seven days of self-care and attention and it was a fitness plan um so you want to make sure that you've got your website all over there this obviously isn't running anymore so you won't be able to find anything if you type that into a browser now the first pages are giving you exactly what you can expect to find throughout this ebook and we've got an upper body workout a lower body workout two cardio activities we have two stretching sessions also um, and then yes we're just labeling what else you're going to find now nutrition wise there were nine meal options that i popped into this particular ebook me i didn't like to prescribe an actual meal plan um, many other people can. That's absolutely fine if you want to do something like that. That's really popular nowadays. So think along those lines if you are that way inclined. I just wanted to give suggestions after I'd spoken to my clients and found out the kind of things that they liked and didn't like. So I'd give them some options that they could pick from. Um, I had a nutritional challenge in here and I had an educational topic for them to learn something. I also had a little challenge with, to do with their sleep, a mindful activity and a vision entry for them. So that's what they were getting when they downloaded this ebook. Now, I would then obviously explain the exercise overview. So strength, cardio and flexibility, why we're doing those things. Now, when we came to a stretch workout, sorry, a strength workout, um, you can see here that we've got some exercises that were geared towards beginners and restarters. Now, not everybody is going to know what these exercises are, what's a reverse fly. So what I'd done was up here, they could click on this link and it would take them to a page in my website, which had the visual uh, video. I think I'd chopped mine into GIFs. I'd, I'd converted everything into a GIF. So it was just repetitive um, with some written instructions. A lot, a lot of people now just do videos where they talk over the videos as well, which is a lot easier for somebody to understand. So this was great because the ebook would bring them back to my website, which would obviously do wonders for my uh, statistics and show that my website was being used, but it would also allow me to track what was going on and seeing who's getting through this ebook, who's actually doing the plan. So yeah, flip through it yourself. We had some cardio stuff there as well. Remember these links are not going to be working. Um, some stretching sessions and then the nutrition overview. I'll just scroll down quickly. It would give them some explanations and I put meals in there that I thought were quite generic because this was being downloaded by visitors on my website. This was a free gift. There was no incentive to do anything. However, once I saw them come back on my website, there were some forms that they could fill in and give me some more details. Um, and that would give me an opportunity to reach out to them and entice them into my more premium services. Now, if they didn't um, complete any of those forms or even, you know, go through this ebook, I would still have their details because on the website to get this, they would need to put in their name, their email address was all I was asking for, but you could go as far as to ask for their, their mobile phone number, which is really 
handy. People are much more responsive to a text message than they are to an email. However, you do want to build up that mailing list because that's still a very lucrative way to sell your services in the long run. So yeah, definitely have a flick through it and see what you think. Give yourself some ideas on what you could do, what you could put in an ebook. Now, it doesn't have to be this. I'm going to give you more ideas. If you look further down in the program, there's going to be other kind of ideas that you can use instead of a seven day plan. But here's the nutritional challenge that I wanted them to do. Very simple. It was just to do with their water and make sure that they were starting off with the basics of being hydrated. And then this would have been the um, educational topic. So getting them to understand a little, a little bit more about protein. And then good habits, so there's the sleep challenge and it was to see if they could turn their phone off or don't look at it for two hours before they plan to go to sleep um, and establish a vision and get a little bit mindful as well. And then there was a schedule there explaining exactly how many calories that those meal suggestions would cover if they went for them. So yes. This was an ebook that worked very well.